all right coming out a good day so i would like to show you how to do the page flip real quick or making a magazine or whatever it is in, in 3d but yeah hopefully you know how to do what i'm doing right now just adding a background with a transparent background and then i'm just going to add a 3d render and a image plane i'm going to need a couple image planes actually if i just start clicking on two they're just going to add on to emerge 3d which is pretty nice for us and then put on the render 3d and then we're going to need a camera as well i'm just actually going to steal it from my uh, 3d preset which i have over here if i want to make a 3d scene and yeah i'm just going to take all this stuff or delete that and we delete our render and then now we just have this transform a little camera transform on there and now we should have our scene ready and now if we look at our 3d render we still we have a bunch of planes sitting on top of each other and you know they're all lined up with this over here because my camera transform is on a value of or over here the value is on this 1.66 for some reason that's like the sweet spot when you're looking back at the screen just like this but i know you want to make a magazine so this is what we're going to need to do this is going to be our uh cover this is going to be the inside of the cover and this is going to be our second page over here and we just need to link these together kind of so i'm going to put these on a merge let's add another merge i think it's up here we'll grab that let's put this here and then we're going to put this here and so now we're looking at this and we need to extrude or not extrude we need to put one in front of the other and so we just go to this first one and just bring this up just a little bit so now this is definitely going to be in front of the other one when we do the page flip all right and then we put our media so we can just, let's do something simple maybe this could be a black page and this could be a white page do something like that and then the third page we're going to make like red or something like that and yeah all right so add this here let's make this one red then Let's actually bring this one to the back a little bit because we don't want it to be showing just yet. All right, now let's merge this back on top of everything here. I'm just going to move this around. And so now you can see our pages right here. And we can actually make them closer so it looks like it's lined up better. So I'm just going to adjust this again. This is going to be right there. This is going to be at zero. And this is going to be, let's do like a negative 0 0.01. See how close that is? Barely, you're barely going to see that. Okay. So. Now we are here and we just gotta line them up in the correct space that we need them in. So actually, let me let me mask this real quick. Let's do this, let's do that, and do that, and put this on all of them. So now all of them have the same width and height for the mask like this. All right, so the reason, the reason I connected these together is because we want this to flip open with a page. We want this to be the front and this, the red or white to be the back, as you can see. And so I'm just gonna add a transform over here. That's not really there, you're gonna hit shift space and you can do 3D transform or transform 3D. This. Uh, just like that all right now you see this little point in the middle that is where everything revolves so we just like start spinning this it revolves around this point everything revolves around that point we want this point to be on the side so we can open it up like a magazine so we just need to go over to the pivot move it down and move this point to the left just like that have it line up as best as possible it's probably something like that that's probably the best value for this and now we are there so now if we go over here and we open this up you can see it opens up just like that and yeah that's 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 basically the most part and then we can go over here and we're probably going to move this camera we need to but we just do our animation real quick move this let's close this so we don't move it on accident go to the end and then move this open oh, did it open the wrong way of course it did that's not the place we want it to be open like this there you go beginning go back and then open like that let's move our camera out and center everything so we have it in the correct position but yeah, for the most part, that is it. And then you can, you know, smooth out your, your, your animation. So it's better do something like this, probably something like that. It accelerates fast and it slows out at the end and then do whatever. But yeah, that's, that's your basic thing. Merge it on top of your background and then export it to your edit page. All right. Hopefully that helps.